Let's take 15, have some chow, change our socks, and get back on the move. Hey everybody, welcome back to another review. What we mean about take 15 and grab some chow is exactly that. When you're out in the field doing operations, a lot of times you don't have time to just kick back and take a half hour to enjoy your chow. It's literally rip the thing apart, eat it, swallow, taste it later, and get back on the move. I didn't have rations like this when I was in. I had these monstrosities, and I actually want to enjoy my meals, so we're going to use this. Menu number 18, beef ravioli in meat sauce. Let's bust this thing open. Now ordinarily, if you knew you were going out to the field for several days, you would get a supply of two of these a day. And to save space in your rucksack or whatever you were carrying, you would field strip these. Essentially keep everything that you wanted, trade what you didn't want, or discard it and leave it behind. Finally got my thumbs in there. And again, this is a, an Ameriqual package. So, of course, we have another bag inside of a bag. And I had my beverage bag try to escape. All right, let's take a look. We have the beef ravioli tells you what is inside of it, the weight of it, and the nutrition facts, accessory packet, have some cranberries osmotic, white wheat snack bread, trans fat free, beef snack, just like one beef snack, tropical punch flavored what is this? I always laugh it has no fruit juice. Uh, okay. Cheese spread with jopalinos. Jalapenos are always awesome. Toaster pastry. Looks like it's frosted brown sugar. Spoon. Pepper sauce. And of course our flameless ration heater. And inside the accessory packet. Get the chewing gum, coffee creamer, salt, Splenda, uh, moist toilet, and of course, some toilet paper. Now, if you actually happen to keep your bag, you would use this as your clean surface because just about everything out there is dirty. Take your moist toilet and you would clean your hands and of course your face because you don't want to get sick in the field. Trust me about that. I know from my experience when I was in, we didn't get issued flameless ration heaters. Well, we did, but it came in a separate second package, but nobody got time for that. We are going to eat this cold. But what we do have time for is to let our drink stew nice and well in our canteen cup. And I think, my, I'm pretty sure my canteen cup is the only thing that I use, like mess kit related, the entire time I was in the Army except for basic training, which our mess kits were mandatory. And we always used the cup because if you poured the powder inside of your water bottle, sometimes it would stay in the inside or leave an odor, and that was a surefire way to fail in an upcoming inspection. So let's get our tropical punch made up. It's got that nice tropical artificial smell. Now, most of the time we just used our canteens. They're usually about a half a canteen cup. But every once in a while, especially if you were like me, your artillery, you got your water from one of these big old five gallon jugs. And we'll give this a stir. And while it is all incorporating, we're going to get our main and our sides ready. 
Now with your main, the first thing you want to do, you want to see where your tear notches are. Some are at the top like this, and some are on the sides. You want to open this on the side, even if it, even if your tear notches are on the top. Squish this stuff down, and if you do not have a tear notch, make one with your knife or something like that. And we're slowly going to open this up because this is going to turn into our food bowl. Looks scrumptious, doesn't it? Then we're going to take the cheese and the pepper sauce, and they're going to get dumped right in there. And yep, all of it, all of it goes in here. And if you'd like, you could put a dash of salt in there as well. And if you served in the 80s, you know how horrible those brown bag MREs were. So I used to bring a few things that would help along. I used to bring some uh, like garlic powder that I would put in there. Red pepper flake. Anything you can do to help mask the taste. And back in the day, I would use onion powder. But now they've got this awesome stuff, which is huh, perfect. And now that all of that is in there, let's give this a good mix. We're going to mix it all in here. And when you're not talking of filming, this only takes minutes to do. Now it is all incorporated. Oh, yum. And there's a technique with this bowl too. Slam it down, it flattens out the bottom, and it will stand up on its own. Now if this ration came with crackers instead of bread, I would put the crackers in there as well for texture. But we've got bread, so we're going to hold that on the side because we can grab some of this and smear it on that bread. And then we'll plop this beef stick over here too because that will just give us a different texture, a different taste. They are a little oily. Sometimes they are hard to get out of there. And the last thing is going to be this mutilated toaster pastry or Pop-Tart. Now you can eat this with your meal or you can hang on to this and chow on it while you were doing your road march or your marching. And then also you've got your gum. And it's the same with your cranberries too. Eat them now or later while you're moving. We'll just pop it open just so we can get a few out there because we're definitely going to save these because we're going to want something to help keep us motivated on our travels. Well, looking at my watch, we've only got a few more minutes till we need to get up and start moving. I still need the power of my feet, so let's chow down. You can see there's the beef ravioli, the cheese, pepper sauce, and all of our fixings that we put in there. Oh, you get that nice zing of that cheese and that red pepper flake hits on, and you get a little bit of that nice garlic flavor powder undertone yep now these are nicer when they are warm I will say that but like I said we just don't have time we've got to get moving on this land nav course we got to do what we've got to do and just for a different texture throw it on that bread and there's not that crunch factor but this bread is so incredibly dense I mean it, it's definitely hearty, I will say that. And then if you were to open these up, these would be a nice coolness factor. Kind of cool your mouth down. They provide that element of a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of tartness, which can be greatly appreciated. And then again, we've got this nice little beef stick. Which definitely adds that chewiness. That you might, and if you were inclined to, you could cut this up and toss it in here as well. Or just stick it in there and uh, use it as its own little spork, spoon, whatever. And we'll wash that down with some good old bug juice. Very tangy. 
And of course, we only got a couple minutes left, so let's get on this. Okay, we pretty much scarfed everything down, and I still want to have something else. Still a little hungry, so we're going to dive into this toaster pastry just so we can see it. Got a bunch in there. And this is the brown sugar toaster pastry. Now, honestly, instead of dumping that out, we would have just eaten that right from the pouch. But, all right, it's time to police up all of our gear. We're going to grab all of our stuff that we've eaten. Cram it back into these bags. Now, the only things left that we're going to keep, of course, are our cranberries, our TP, coffee, and, of course, our chewing gum. And all this stuff we'll keep right on our person. Oh, also, you'll keep your hot beverage bag. These days, these work great at protecting your cell phone if you bring your cell phone out to the field or your wallet. So we'll set these aside. All the trash goes back into the bag. As small as possible so you can drop it off at the nearest collection point that takes garbage. I'm going to slam this down, take a little bit of our canteen water, rinse out the cup, and stow everything. And if you look in there carefully, you can still see there's red in there from the fruit punch. You imagine if this stuff sticks to stainless steel, imagine what your insides look like. So now take a t-shirt, take a rag, make sure this is all nice and clean and dry. All right, now we got everything put away, we're going to take our gum, our chiclet gum, our xylitol gum, or our dental gum, and we will chew on this to help clean our teeth. Unless if you want to take a minute or two to grab a toothbrush and toothpaste. Now the dangerous thing about eating is you usually get a little tired after you eat. We've saved our coffee for a purpose. We're gonna have real field coffee, and I'm gonna show you how to prepare that in just a second. Now, I'm going to admit, this probably is going to taste better with real sugar instead of Splenda. But the fastest way to get a cup of coffee in you, especially when you're starting to feel a little groggy, shake all three envelopes, tear the top off. There's the coffee and the creamer, sugar, and you're just going to slap that right into your mouth and then take a huge swig of your canteen. Mmm. And we'll take one more little swig of water with that. Mmm. Sure, we clean the teeth out. That was very reminiscent of those Polish coffee candies that you get in those SRG and SR rations. <laughs> Quite tasty. I, I, I'll probably do that again. Well, everybody, this was a 2015 Menu 18 beef ravioli and meat sauce. How I would prepare it and eat it in the field on the move. Thanks for joining me on this review, and I will see you all on my next review. Bye.